let me just get to this piece of sound uh, because I, I thought it was kind of great. Uh, we talked last week about how Ted Cruz was able to blow off Seth Meyers when he was on Seth Meyers' show. Seth Meyers tried to call him out on global warming. Ted Cruz is an incredibly adroit and smooth liar. Maybe really just a fanatic and a crazy person. Who even knows if he's lying? He's such a tremendous fundamentalist fanatic. But the point was he was able to blow Seth Meyers off. Jerry Brown, California's governor, was on Meet the Press over this past weekend. And Chuck Todd played Jerry Brown the same clip of Ted Cruz blowing, you know, uh, blowing off Seth Meyers, obfuscating on the science to Jerry Brown. Let's see what Jerry Brown's response was to Ted Cruz's global warming nonsense. Let's take a listen to that sound. The issue of climate change is polarizing. I'm going to play for you a clip this week from one of the Republican Pause. presidential candidates. On no, it's not. Keep playing it. <laughs> on the issue of climate change. Here it is. Because I think the world's on fire, literally. <laughs> Hottest year on record. But you're not there, right? I just came back from New Hampshire where there's snow and ice everywhere. And my view actually is simple. Debates on this should follow science mm -hmm. and should follow data. And many of the alarmists on global warming, they got a problem because the science doesn't back them up. That was Republican Senator Ted Cruz, a likely presidential candidate, uh, saying what he said on climate change. What do you say, because you've dealt with some Republican skeptics mm -hmm. in California on this. I'll say what he said is absolutely false. Uh, over 90% of the scientists who deal with climate are absolutely convinced that the human activity, the industrial activity, the generation of CO2, methane, uh, oxides of nitrogen, all the rest of those greenhouse gases are building up in the atmosphere. They're heat trapping and they're causing not just warm uh, drought in California, but severe storms and cold uh, in, in the East Coast. Right. So it's climate disruption of many different kinds. And that man betokens such a level of ignorance and a direct uh, falsification of the existing scientific data. It's shocking, and I think that man has rendered himself absolutely unfit to be running for office. I love it. Jerry Brown showing how it's done, laying the smack down on Ted Cruz. And that's really how communication on climate always needs to be done. There's no scientific debate. Anybody who's bringing up a scientific debate is trying to obscure, trying to lie, peddling doubt, being a merchant of nonsense. And the only thing that I might disagree with Jerry on is I think that Ted Cruz has already done and said many, 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 many things that make him unfit for running for president of the United States, let alone being a United States senator, senator which unfortunately he is. But I will say this. Ted Cruz's run is going to be incredibly entertaining. And as I always say about Ted Cruz before Matt jumps in with his insight on this, I am terrified, like truly petrified of what the Ted Cruz sex scandal is going to be. Because when that happens, oh, God, are we going to yearn for the days of a good old-fashioned affair or Twitter pics? Because whatever that is, is going to be just horrifying. Your thoughts, man? Oh, I think it's going to be fun to watch Ted Cruz in this uh, campaign. I mean, uh, let's let Look at, I mean, just look at the clip that they played. We just played, you know, we, we covered it l more last week when he was on Late Night. Right. You know, the dude is so sure of himself. He is. You know, yeah. any, I, I wonder what would happen if there were, if, if he was pushed back hard. Like, you know, just doing, talking at a town hall event, trying to win cam when, during campaigns. You know, just a regular person comes over. You know, they don't even have to be that, you know, they don't even need to be an expert on an issue. Just constantly, you know, okay, but... But I want to see what Ted Cruz, because I don't know if he's ever been really pushed in that way. Yeah, it's weird. You don't get, I mean, you know, he's an Ivy League guy, so there's no question that he's been around, you know, Democrats and people like that at uh, Princeton. I think he went to Princeton. I know he went to Harvard Law. But yeah, you get the sense that this is a guy who's never in environments. I want to. 
I want to see getting him, any type of pushback, any type of real conversation. And I, I don't think it would make any difference. I, I want to see him frustrated. Fanatic. I want to see how he acts when he's frustrated because I don't think we've ever seen him like that, like that. No, we've always seen. I mean, he's a he's a fanatic. He's a believer. So we yeah, we've never seen him like that. We've only seen him completely sure of himself, completely fanatical, completely kind of. I, it'll be interesting to see. I think what will be interesting about him too, just relative to the other candidates, is that. He is not a liked person, including like by his own people. Like he's not likable, right? And that's always a factor. So I think you might see him. He'll be the one candidate that the other contenders kind of like get together before the debate. And they're all like, Jesus, man, that guy Ted, that guy's an asshole. You know, I think that there's going to be a lot of that. I think it's interesting, too, because his base, with how, you know, fanatical and extremist and insane and far right his politics are, which, I mean, let's be real, it's not really that different from any of the other main Republican contenders. But that said, it's really interesting that his base is that Sarah Palin base. But he's, uh, you know, he's the opposite in the sense of being hyper educated, very kind of, you know, glibly articulate. So he's kind of, I guess he's a little bit more like Newt Gingrich in the sense that he's like a stupid person's perception of an intellectual. But that could also hurt him if someone, oh, yeah. someone more, you know, if there's someone who just, who's more down to earth or, or folksy. Right. You know, one of, one of the people, like That's Sarah right. Palin portrays herself as to that same base. Right. If someone like that throws their hat in. I mean, who who would be like that? I, you know, I don't really see that person besides Rick Perry. But that's Perry, true. So yeah. he's just you know, even for that group, he's kind of a. So he might himself. be. He might be. Uh, he might have a straight straight line through them. I, I wouldn't be surprised if he wins a couple of primaries. I don't think. Yeah, he he's gets not to making the it. End. No. I don't think he gets no. to the end. But I wouldn't be surprised he's if he not takes a, like he's a, not a South Carolina yeah, or no something. Way. <laughs> 